Yes, good morning indeed. It would be if it wasn't 10 o'clock at night while I was recording this. Welcome back to Life in the Village 3, my friends. Welcome back. So I've got a couple of things up my sleeve to be doing in this episode. I'm just going to go and replace the water from my uh, crop bed because I put a torch in there instead. I wanted to see how the decorations would look and it just doesn't suit it guys. It's made all the mud go pale. So yeah, that's a bit of a problem. So I'm going to replace the water right there. I'm going to have a little look here. See, I just like to spam these torches just for the fun of it. We've got some cows to breed up. I have taken like the majority of them out. So we're going to get these cows bred up here and we're actually going to build can't breed them with seeds flower you can't be build them with breed them with seeds words are hard people words are hard right let me get rid of that palaver out of my inventory so today we're going to do the tavern and i think i want to do the tavern next to the town hall which is right here now i think we're going to have to take these trees down I would do a bit of a lapse with them, but there's no point in doing the old lapse, guys. It'll take me about three minutes to do this with my great axe, a great axe of all steeds. And then we're going to go and we're going to build up our, I think it's a barrel, to go in the tavern. So I'm just going to get rid of this. So we'll have no distractions for my builders and everything's clear and pretty good to go I'm just hoping I don't get another barrage of bloody pillagers man then party poopers need to learn how to party and not ruin it every single chance they get right so I'm gonna pop these in here in fact I'm not what I'm gonna do first is actually make myself a couple of slabs like so let's get rid of those i'll do that and i'll do that and then i'll take them back out strategically so i can get a few more planks under my belt and then we'll try again so i'm going to do that and i'm going to do that and that will give me the barrel and then if i take them out the way and we do this and I put my build tool there, that will give us a tavern. So let's go and place this bad boy, shall we? In fact, let me go and put these saplings away first. That might be a bit of an idea, just to clear a bit of space in my inventory up. I'm in the process of making armor for my guard, people. He's not happy with walking around bare chested, he wants some armor. Right, so I'm thinking of putting the tavern down here. Just to open this edge up a bit, because it seems that we've got plenty of room inside the cave for the time being. Now, let's see how much room this tavern's going to take. So, we are still on steampunk. Fundamentals is going to be the tavern. And we do have the tavern. And we're just going to shove it straight up to a level 3. And I want to see what it's going to look like. So, the tavern is there it's very green it is very green oh gosh that was a bit laggy wasn't it i didn't ask for that my mate i didn't ask for that laggy lag and that is the main garden i think it has to go the other way though no no it goes this way right so that is our tavern and we're going to get this here and we're going to get the ball rolling on it so, do I want to pull it forward? That is the question. Let me know what you feel in the comments, people. See, that's up. I didn't actually want it up. I wanted it a little bit further down. That could be an issue. I might have to redo that. It's not getting built yet, so there's no big hurry. But I do want to get this tavern done. And if I can move it, what about 
So do I want it nose to nose? I don't want it nose to nose, guys. So we're going to leave a bit of a pathway. And if I look here, it is on level. And this does not need to go up any, I don't think. No, it doesn't. So that can go then. We're going to hit the ball rolling on this straight off the bat. So that is the tavern. Obviously, we've got to jump to try and access the gooet that it's not going to let me do because it is a total wind-up merchant. And I'm not saying any more than that. I am now going to have to go and pick a couple of blocks out of here to reach. But that's all right, people. That's all right. Not today, my mate. Not today. Right, so let's have a look. The build options, spruce stairs, dark oak door, stone pressure plate, cobble stairs, the laying barrel, and that is planks going down the middle, either horizontal or vertical, vertically, with the sticks on either side of it. So the laying barrel, it'll be going across the middle with sticks at the top and sticks at the bottom. That is how you do a laying barrel. Uh, dark oak planks panel which is done on the architect's cutter. Standing barrel is the opposite to the laying barrel. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to pull the trigger on that one. And we're going to fire away, fire away. Because I am titanium. So that is pretty much set to go. He's going to go and dig his ground out. Or do whatever else he needs to. And I am just going to take myself. In fact, I'm not going to take myself off anywhere, guys. I'm just going to leave that for the time being. So, let us go and collect some stuff. We'll get in with the build. And then, what I want to do on here is sort this whole stairway out and get that wall that I was talking about in the last Hi. episode built up. Hi, dude. I hope you're all right, dude. Right, yes, guys. So, I'll come straight back for the time lapse and then we're going to work on those stairs and we're going to work on that wall there. Should be fun.
So, this is our tier 1 team steampunk. This is our tier 1 steampunk tavern. And we wait while we're waiting for the old fireworks and commotion to pop off. We're going to take a look around. So, it's in the process of spamming torches because we're all like a nice bit of spam. Uh, and making this place look rather pretty, aren't we, Graham? Aren't we indeed? So, yes, that is the back courtyard. We have an under the stairs. And we have an up the stairs. So, this is looking quite cosy indeed. We have all the beds in these rooms. All vacant. And any shelter will do. Won't it, Graham? Not sure I like all that writing in front of my screen, mind. But, you know, that is our tavern, guys and gals. A very nice tavern. I'm just playing dodge with them bleeding eggs that are getting, like, really rather tiresome. But at least the colonists have somewhere to stay right now. Now, it is approaching night time. Well, don't tell me I've put it too far. No, I've not. That's okay. We don't want it too far forward, guys. And while I'm walking back, I'm going to take my shovel and I'm going to do a bit of path marking with a torch spam first. Because he's not just put enough down. This is just to mark the roads out. And that should line up pretty nicely. And then it's going to end up coming around the corner right here. So going this way. We're going that away, my oh my. So this will bring us to that end there. And that will mark the pathway going up into that specific area. And I think once I get back, or once we've slept, I'm going to do that dividing wall in between us and the guard tower. Right, well, here we go. Now, I am thinking... Because they seem to be using a heck of a lot of dark oak. Now maybe I want to do something with dark oak and stone. I'm looking in the wrong place for dark oak people. Looking in the total wrong place for dark oak. Now can this give us any form of anything? That's too dark. What are them but Oh. Dark, dark oak log brick. Or oh, light dark. Oh, new child's born, people. A new child. Let me have a quick look at these. Oh, friends, I quite like them. They take a while to break as well. But I'm not sure I want them in here, to be honest with you. Right, so let's just get some stone. No, let's get some stone. Right, thank you. And we're going to go to the stone cutter. I might use them bricks for something else, just not that. Uh, we're going to take some of them. So I think we're going to start off with just the basic stone bricks. Now I do want it three along. Like so. I am going to spam that torch there instead. It is going all the way up. And I think what I might do here is do it to about there. Like so. I am going to cut bits and bobs out of this wall. Just let me see. Because we've got a gap space outside of the door there. And I could potentially... Do that. A two walkways big enough, isn't it? And I do want some kind of arch going over. It's good to see you too, mate. Just get on with your work. You get paid to do a job. So, we're going to take these up. And then what I'm going to do is stick some of these bricks in the furnace. So I'll use this one because this one's pretty empty. I might have to eat one of those fried eggs at some point, peeps. 
and then we're going to take that we're going to take a little bit of the old andesite god you're thinking them very slow mate very slow and then what we're going to do on these is just cut a few pieces out so there 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 I'll do one there, one there, and I'll do the same around the other side. But I want to mix it up with that and potentially andesite as well. So we'll put a couple of these bits and bobs in, andesite there, put a stone brick there, and I'm going to build this wall up. And then I'm going to look at some kind of archway to build in with it. I do have somewhat of an area here. Now, this is all going to be my storage. And I'm trying to think of whether I actually want it to go up one more. Maybe. And why would you think I did not fill the middle in, guys? Just to save resources. I'll not be having it. Not be having it indeed. I don't ever take shortcuts. <laughs> hey, it's all good fun, people. It's all good fun. Anyhow, right, so I'm going to pop these back. Get you there, you there, and I'll put you there. And I think that looks a little bit better. Now, we do need stairs. And I'm just wondering. See, I don't see any stairs of sorts there. And I'm trying to think if I could use anything else. If you've got any ideas in the comments, guys, do let me know. Lights would be very handy, wouldn't it? What's that? Dark stone bricks, bricks. Yeah. I do like them, but it does look like we are going for... I didn't actually want them. We're going for the old-fashioned stairs. Now, apparently, we can't use stone bricks in there, so I might as well just go to the stone cutter. I'm just going to stick a couple of the old stone bricks up here to make somewhat of an arch. Now, it's a new mod pack to me, so if I come across anything else that might look a little bit better... I shall change it up. But I also want you guys to let me know if there's anything better I could use. Now, the wall needs finishing off a bit, but the ceiling is actually going to stop there. So, all this is already done, and I've got to fill this in. So, it's a waste of time doing it all the way up the wall, but that is our little walkway. Now, I've got to sit and think about how I'm going to do these stairs. Mm, I've got to think, guys. I've got to use my brain. That could be hard. Right, so, back to job in hand. Right, that is our cracked stone. I am thinking... Get rid of them. Let's start digging out little by little. And then we're going to have to start coming around the corner at some point. But I don't want to take it too far to the front. I don't want to get rid of that, so I'm going to take some water out of there, like a couple of buckets. Because that is my infinite water source. I had to walk miles and miles and miles and come back with two buckets of water on my head, guys, because they were so heavy, I couldn't carry them. So, yeah. I'm going to take that water out of there, and we're actually going to fill this little bit in. Uh, I'm using stone stairs, and I'm going to use some dark oak, I think. Uh, what have I actually done with those stairs? I know what I've done with those stairs. I've put them in that bloody chest. All two of them. So, two's all I need. I do want a use for these blocks because I do like these blocks. But it's not going to be a quick feat. I'm going to have to sit and think about it. And probably put a few plans in motion now stare and stare and then possibly possibly 
this was the right way round. Like going that way. So that will take us up. I need to fill that in behind. And then maybe just do something quite simple like this. This will all be getting filled in with stone and then we'll be coming up the top here that will be getting blocked and we want a two wide staircase coming up that way so if I can do that get that one going up somewhat to there maybe we'll take that stair out and then we're going to start going up like this and I do kind of want it to carry on no I don't because I've moved my entrance haven't I to here and I do want to do some farm entrance but I'm not going to do that today I'm just going to work on these stairs right so let me get this finished up and let's see what it looks like so for the time being this is what we're looking at. I've not done this. But we've just got a nice little area to come into. I'm going to pop a couple of torches there. And two for symmetry reasons. And we're just coming down to a basic like walkway. I could fill it in with stone and stuff, but not just yet, guys. Do you know what? That coloured stone could look good in here. But let me know what you think in the comments. My newest addition to the village has just run past as well. I'm not sure where she's gone to. It seems to be coming along quite nicely. We've had quite a good start. I hope she's not ran into there. Because that just would not be good. Yeah, she ran past me, guys. I don't know where she's gone. I think she's uh, gone to go and play with the ghoulies and the ghosties. And all the other hostess, but she's definitely not there. Uh, so, yeah, I do want to put, like, some kind of entrance here. I don't know what it's going to look like or anything. It's so, like I said, leave your ideas. It would be very welcomed. And, yeah, we've got a nice little colony going on. They've all got somewhere to stay. And I'm pretty pleased with the way it's going so far. I am indeed. Anyway, guys, that does bring us to the end of an episode. And I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, you know what to do. Hit like. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.